Today, we're going to be working on making a really quick little flickering light that could be used for a candle, could be used for a campfire, it could be used for any kind of fire or any kind of flame or light that you, you don't want to just be static. It's pretty random and it's really easy to do. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, when we open up Godot, first thing we're going to do is make sure we're in 3D, go to a new 3D scene, and then within that 3D scene, we're going to add in OmniLight 3D. All right, so OmniLight 3D is very simple. It emits from the center in all directions, and it emits about the distance of this sphere that you see around it. Now that can be adjusted, that can be changed to whatever size you want, but let's not worry about that right now. What we are gonna do is I'm gonna add in a mesh instance, and I'm doing that so that we can see the light itself. So we have the mesh, we're gonna do a new plane mesh. I'm gonna turn it around here, move it back, make it grow a little bit, there. You can see that the light is reflecting off of it. Perfect, that's what we want to see. Next thing that we need to do is go to our Omni Light and we're going to create a script. The script can be called whatever you want. I'm, however, going to use Fire Light. And just to be safe, I'm also going to go into our Node 3D. I'm going to hit Save. I'm going to call this Fire Light Scene. Fire Light. There we go. So now we have the saved scene and we have the saved script. But within the script, we are not going to need the ready function. All right, so we can just get rid of that. What we are going to need is an export. Export var noise. And we're going to make it noise texture 3D. Now next, we need to add in a variable for our time passed. Var time passed. We want that to be a float and that tells it the, the colon equal tells it whatever type the variable is or whatever type the value is on the other side of the equal sign is what we're casting this type as. So within our process, we want to use the delta and the time together. So what we're going to do is time passed plus equals delta. Now what that does is with the plus equals, it takes the current value of time passed, adds delta to it, and then the result is time passed plus delta. So this is the equivalent of time passed equals time passed plus delta. But it's shorthand, a lot easier to read. Now to test, just to see what our numbers are, we could print it out. Let's go ahead and print it. So if I run this now, it's not going to show really anything, except here. We can see that the time passed, second by second, it's just you know adding to the delta. Perfect, exactly what we're expecting. Go ahead and stop that. I'm going to clear here, and we're not going to worry about that, that printing. So if we go back to our Omni Light, you can see that since we added in var noise as an export, we now have noise here. So we're gonna add in a new noise texture to 3D. And the noise, we're going to do a new fast noise light. Really simple and very easy to mess with. Essentially what we're doing with the light here is we're going to have our script evaluate the noise. And as it goes through the noise, it's going to check to see, is it white, is it black, or is it somewhere in between? depending on what color between white and black that it is, is how intense the light is going to be on our OmniLight. For something like this, you might want to do really, really, really small. You can change it around, see how you like it. You know, if you want it to go really fast, we can do the frequency all the way up there. If you want it to be really slow burn, do that. You know, whatever works for you. The key is that we have a lot of white and a lot of black. You can also mess with the seeds a little bit, see what works for you. So now that we have that, and go back to our script here, get noise 1D. All right, so that's going to be a float. And guess what else was a float here? Our time passed. All right, so we can put in our time passed. There we go. Now, as a sanity check, as a safety check, what we want to do, because, well, let's just take a look. Okay, print sampled noise. Save that. I'm going to run it. We're not going to see a whole lot of anything other than here. So you can see it's bouncing around. Right? It's going between negative and positive. We don't want negative because you know what, what number or what color comes below 000? Nothing. Nothing at all. So in order to get around that, we're going to use a function for our absolute value. So sample noise now equals. ABS, which is a math function or absolute value, gives the value away from zero instead of neg positive or negative, and we're going to do sampled noise. Now, finally, we're going to set our light energy equals sampled noise. Now, this is taking the value within our Omni light, which would be right down here, light energy, and we're adjusting it back and forth based on 
the color of the, the pixel that we're moving on here. Let's save that. If we go back to 3D, not doing anything yet. There's one more thing that we need to do in order to test this out. So it's not necessary for really anything other than this, but we need a camera 3D. That way we can at least see what's happening. Okay, I'm just going to go to preview. There we are. So if I press play here, there we go. We've got a flickering light. Now there are other options that we could do with it. We can change the color. We can make it look more like a fire. Uh, we can do a lot of different things. It's really up to you. We can make it more intense, less intense. We don't want it to be more than 50% of full. So we can do a divide by two. Alternatively, times 0.5. Let's save that and see the difference. Okay, pretty dark, still flickering around. If we want it to flicker faster, time pass times two. Or if we want it to be a different color, make it look more fiery. Let's turn that down a little bit. Let's move over to an orange that, that looks flamish. Let's play. There we go. Now I have a fire. Now you can add a fire animation, some particles, whatever you want on top of this. You can have it be you're holding a lighter or something for your player. You know, use it however you want to. But it's very simple to put together. It's something that could be highly reused and it's very, very, very configurable. That's going to be it for this one. Now, if you like this, I also stream regularly on Twitch at JD Does Dev. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video and this channel it helps out more than you can possibly imagine. And I will see you on the next one. Thanks again for watching.